again. Today is a special segment called Cooking with Remy. Now, for those who don't understand, I'm going to be cooking a very special dish of mine. Um, you saw some of the ingredients. Basically making a omelette sunny side up egg. What I'll be doing is the first thing I'll be doing is of course spraying the pan simple stuff. Um, my ingredients are over here. These are all my special ingredients if you guys can see them. Don't mind my kitchen. Just a little. Um, what I do for my thing, I get two eggs. Put them here. I have my saison, my adobo. Um, this is a very special dish. Um, normally I don't do this type of dish. But, I do. So, this dish is very special. And as you can see, I move my eggs out the way. Gonna cut a very proportionate size onion. Put it back in the bag here. Um, mainly what I do here for my onion, um, cut it up. I do things a little out of order, but... Like I said, it's up to you how you want this to go. Ooh, do not cut yourself, you guys. Use knife safety. I've not cut myself yet. Now, anywho, as for the pan itself, I'm going to pan you over here. And this is going to be the bread and butter area. So, what we're going to do here, crack the egg. Very nostalgic stuff here. Very simple. It's, you know, basic concept of cracking. And I've made this about a trillion gajillion times. And what you're going to do with the eggs, you're going to chop them. It's almost like you're doing scrambled, scrambled eggs, but you're not really doing scrambled eggs. You're gonna add the onion that we chopped that you you know chopped up. Now you can have as much onion you want, as little as you want. Now you're gonna add the sazon. Sazon here, pretty special stuff. Um, you're gonna lightly jizzle that over the egg, and I mean lightly jizzle, and I mean very lightly jizzle. And you're going to add a little adobo, like very little adobo, and just, that's it. Once you're done with those steps, you're going to, you know, toss it and turn it a little bit. And then kaboom, you let it sit for, till it gets a little bit warmer. Um, I like to add a little bit more seasoning to it, just because... That's the type of guy I am. Um, pretty much it. There's another recipe where you can add ham to the middle of it. So whereas when you put the ham in the middle, it has a little bit more beefy context. 
to the flavor. Now I've experimented different flavors with different textures and whatnot. So I have done certain things to make it taste better. I mean, for instance, I've added oregano. I've added uh, cheese. And I, there's a lot of different variations on this. Um, basically, it's simple, simple, simple. I mean, it's not hard to make. Anybody can make this dish or this um, egg. It's like an omelet, but it's like a sunny side up egg that's basically got a bunch of seasoning and stuff in it. And remember, you not don't use a lot of the seasonings. Because you, if you can, over-season this a little bit. And I will add a dash of oregano. Make very little oregano to the middle of it. And I mean, that's pretty much the context of it. I mean, once it fluffs up, it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. My wife personally doesn't like them. I do scrambled eggs as well, but this is one of my favorite dishes that I do. Um, another thing, don't flip it too early. If you flip this, like, alright, when it cooks, it has to be normal. It has to flip normal, and when you flip it, like, you flip it normally, you have to wait a while to flip it. And when you do flip it, you have to be careful. You have to be seriously careful when you flip this because either A you'll mess it up or it'll turn out it'll cut in half like it'll be in half and I've learned a lot of times to flip it is just to wait till you flip it and then when you finally flip it, it get, it's it's pretty much dope it's pretty much amazing how you flip it but I mean it really all depends on how you pick it up with the spatula like right now it's not really you see the consistency of it it's not done um when it is done you'll sort of know you'll sort of just gauge it from looking at it but it's not a hard dish to make I've been making this dish for a couple of years and it may look like it's goulash or whatnot. So like instance for this, it's ready. And I mean, I flipped it kind of early. Just to show you what would happen. But I'm eating this anyway. This is my personal palate. And you pretty much mash it down. Now, you can make it one of two ways. You can make it to where you, like, you, you know... You take it off of the thing and eat it just like that. You can do it that way. Or you can flip it like me and be special. Because, you know, that's what I like to do is be special about it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you just patten it down to make sure, you know. I mean, it's broken up into two, as you can see. Like, big old geek and that, like, hole in it. And I'm doing this for effect, so. And it's breaking apart on me. But that's cool. I mean, it's still good egg. And that's pretty much it for cooking it. I mean, that's the finished product. It does look a little different. And it can look a little crazy depending on which how you do it but I'm gonna take a bite give me one second and get a fork you guys and actually taste this bad boy and it may look crazy I know I know but I'm gonna take a bite and mm, that is heaven yet again thank you guys for watching what well, cooking with me new segment this is a delicious
Um, like I said, you guys have any questions about the recipe? In by, I mean, comment or hit up my social media. But wonderful, wonderful taste. Very different. Very tasty. So when making this, be do be careful making this. Not everybody can make this, but be careful and watch out. Three days from now, unboxing Kingdom Hearts video. That will be films later after it's a review. So yet again, thank you guys for watching Cooking with Remy. Hit like and subscribe. And stay you.